हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेल्व ऑन ग्रुप थियोरी इन दिस लेक्चर ऑल्सो वी विल डिस्कस सम मोर प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन ग्रुप्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम हियर वी आर आस्ट टू प्रूव दैट आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट इन ए ग्रुप इज यूनिक दैट इज ए ग्रुप कैन नॉट हैव कैन नॉट हैव मोर देन वन आइडेंटिटीज सो वी प्रूव दिस बाय एज्यूमिंग दैट suppose we have two identities in some group so first we consider one group let g with star be a group we consider arbitrary group g under the binary operation star and we assume that suppose this group has two identities suppose that e and e des are the identities in g or identities of a group g then if we consider e star e des and if we consider this e des identity then we will obtain e here so we can write e star e des equal to e using the fact that e des is the identity and similarly we can use the fact that e is the identity then here we can write e des so here we are using the fact that e is the identity in first part we consider that e des is the identity and e is also an element of g so by the definition of identity we can write e star e des equal to e and in second part we use the fact that e is the identity and e des is a member of g therefore e star e des must be equal to e des so we can compare the left hand sides here in both the equations so therefore because these two are equal we must have e and e des equal so therefore we have shown that if group has two identities then they are equal that means identity is unique a group cannot have more than word identity so identity of g is unique so this is very important property of a group group cannot have more than word identity element or identity element in a group g is unique we consider another example here we are asked to prove that inverse of any element of g is unique that is if we consider any element in a group g then it cannot have more than one inverse so this also can be proved first we consider a group g with binary operation star let g with star be a group and because we are discussing about inverse we assume that this group has identity denoted by e and we consider any element in g let a be any element of a group g and we consider that suppose this a has two inverses say b and b des let b and b des b inverses of a in g uh, but we want to show that inverse must be unique for any element so we will prove that this b and b des must be equal so now uh, we consider that b star a star b des so this is equal to b star now here 
B dash is inverse of A. Therefore, A star B dash must be equal to E. And because E is the identity, we obtain B. So here we are using the fact that A star B dash equal to E because B dash is inverse of A. Now here I have combined A and B dash and now I combine B and A and I consider their combination with B dash. So now B star A star B dash but here this B is also inverse of A therefore we can write B star a equal to E that is identity and E star B dash equal to B dash. So here we have used the fact that B star A equal to E because this B is also an inverse of A by assumption. Now G is a group therefore associative property must hold in G. So by associative property this B star A star B dash and this B star A star B dash must be equal. And because these two are equal we must have B equal to B dash. So now we can write that B star a star B dash must be equal to B star A star B dash because G is a group. So therefore by associative property. So now therefore we can give this number 1 and 2. So we have shown that left hand sides of 1 and 2 are equal. So therefore B must be equal to B dash by 1 and 2. And this B and B dash were assumed to be inverses of the same element A. And we have shown that they are equal. So this proves that the inverse of any element of a group G is unique or any element of group G must have unique inverse. So in this way we can prove this type of simple properties. We have shown that identity of group is unique and every element of group must have unique inverse. We consider one more example. Suppose G with star be a group and let A, B, C be any three elements of G. Then we are asked to prove these properties. If we consider A star B equal to A star C, then this must imply that B equal to C. That means we are cancelling this left, left side element that is A. So this property is known as left cancellation law or left cancellation property. So left cancellation law holds in a group. Similarly, if we consider B star A equal to C star A, then this implies that B equal to C. So here we are cancelling out A from right hand side. So this is known as right cancellation law or right cancellation property. So cancellation laws hold in a group. Instead of uh, uh, asking in this way, they can ask you that prove that cancellation laws hold in a group then in that case you have to remember these two cancellation laws prove that cancellation laws hold in a group so we will prove both the cancellation laws first we prove the first one so first we assume that suppose that 
a star b equal to a star c and we give this number 1 and we have to show that a will cancel out and we will have b equal to c so we start with b we can write b equal to e star b using the property of identity where e is the identity of a group g now we can again replace this identity by a inverse star a so because a is an element of a group g a must have inverse in g so we must have a inverse star a equal to e so we replace uh, this e by a inverse star a and because a is an element of group a has inverse now this we can rewrite as a inverse star a star b because we uh, know that g is a group so we can use associative property so here we, we should mention whatever we are using by associative property now we have assumed that a star b equal to a star c so we use this here we replace a star b by a star c so here we are using our assumption that we have given number one now again we apply associative property here this we can rewrite as a inverse star a star c so here we are using associative property and again we use the fact that a star a must be equal to e so this is e star c and by the definition of identity this is equal to c so we started by this element b and we proved that b equal to c so be careful here we have to remember this step we have written b equal to e star b then we have replaced this identity element by a inverse star a and then we have applied associative property after that we use our assumption that a star b equal to a star c and the, then again by applying associative property and definition of inverse and identity we obtain that b equal to c so therefore we have shown that if a star b equal to a star c then we must have b equal to c that is a can be cancelled out and here a is on the left hand side therefore this is known as left cancellation property or left cancellation law similarly we can prove right cancellation law so here we assume that suppose that now instead of considering a on left hand side in right cancellation law we have to consider a on right hand side so suppose that b star a equal to c star a and we give this number 2 and we have to show that here also we can cancel out a from right hand side so we have to prove that b equal to c so now we start with b here uh, here we had started by writing b equal to e star b so here we have written e to the left of b because we are proving left cancellation property now instead of writing b equal to e star b we will write b equal to b star e because we are going to prove right cancellation law so now we consider this b equal to b star e now this e we can rewrite as e can be replaced by a star a inverse by the definition of inverse we can write e equal to a star a inverse now we apply associative property b star a star a inverse and b star a is nothing but c star a 
here we have to mention that we are applying associative property now we replace b star a by c star a and this is by our assumption that we have given number 2 now we again apply associative property c star a star a inverse so here we write that by using associative property now by the definition of inverse we can write a star a inverse equal to e and by the definition of identity c star e equal to c therefore we have shown that b star a equal to c star a implies b equal to c that means we can cancel out a from right hand side so right cancellation law also hold in a group so in this way we can show that cancellation laws are satisfied in a group g so here uh, we have to understand the difference between these two here we had started by writing b equal to e star b we have written e to the left side of b and here uh, we have written e to the right side of b now in previous case we had replaced e by a inverse star a and here uh, we are reversing we are replacing e by a star a inverse otherwise the process is same so in this way we can easily prove this type of properties of a group g using the definition uh, or different properties of group g so i hope you like this lecture thank you very much